Hi there, Vladimir here with another video about how to speak a foreign language. Here is the secret to speaking a foreign language fluently. The secret to speaking is listening. To be able to speak a foreign language well, first you need to be able to hear well. In other words, if you are able to understand everything you hear, you will be able to speak well. You will be able to carry on a pleasant conversation. Your ability to have a back and forth conversation depends on your ability to understand everything you hear. Everything being the operative word. The better your listening comprehension, the smoother the conversation. Let me prove it to you. I've prepared a few case studies, if you will. Exhibit number one. Who eats the least food in your family? Sorry? Uh, who eats the least food? Who eats the least food in your family? The least? Yes, least. Small amount of food. Okay, so I wasn't able to hear the question. A bit of a backstory. This video is from a language lesson I took. A lesson using this thing called the Cullen method. The person paying for this nonsense is supposed to give answers to a series of questions. What time do you go to bed at night? And what time do you go to bed at night? Full answers. Mm -hmm. I go to bed. I go to bed at night. I go to bed. I go to bed, go to bed. at, at, at 7 p.m. at night. At night. Complete nonsense indeed, but it was the inspiration for this video. It was the inspiration for this video because it proved without a shadow of a doubt that if you understand everything you hear, you will be able to carry on a conversation. And back to my video. Who eats the least food in your family? Sorry? Uh, who eats the least food? As you can see, I couldn't understand the, the question at in first. Your family? The least... Yes, least. Small amount of food in your family. Food. Food, food, food. Food. The least food in my family. Who, who, who eats? Ah, who eats the least food in my family? But you see what I did? Ah, good question. I confirmed and clarified. Basically, I made sure I understood the question before answering it. There is no shame in not understanding what you hear, so long as you confirm and clarify. As is the case with these two. Would a native speaker of English pay money to have a casual conversation with you? Or any type of conversation for that matter? Um, would a native speaker pay to have a conversation with me? Probably not. Would... Uh, native speaker of your language pay money mm -hmm. to have a casual conversation with you in english of course would a native speaker of english pay to have a conversation with me in english no confirm and then answer exhibit number four my question is have you ever paid to chat with people Am I paid to chat with people? That's not what I asked. There is a huge difference between have you paid to chat and are you paid to chat. It's the exact opposite. And again, there is no shame in not being able to understand as long as you confirm and clarify. And we move on and continue our conversation. My question is, have you ever paid to chat with people? Am I paid to chat with people? Have, I, you, I suppose, have you, you paid to chat with people? No, no. no. Uh, well, maybe therapy. <laughs> maybe therapy. As long as you are able to understand everything you hear, you will be able to have a pleasant conversation. Next case in point. How about you? How long have you been living in Australia? I have been Australia, uh, sorry, I want to say uh, four years. Okay, so I... As you can see and hear, she was able to understand the gist of the question. 
but not everything. And so when I say everything, I mean everything. Vocabulary, grammar, and of course, meaning. She could have just said oh, yes. and it would have been perfectly fine. But going back to the inspiration for this video, the ridiculous color method. How long do you sleep at night? How long do you sleep at night? Seven hours. I sleep. I sleep. I sleep. Not seven. I sleep. I sleep. I sleep. About. About. Seven hours. At night. At night. There is a difference between understanding the gist of a question and understanding everything, including the grammar structure. How long have you been living in Australia? And it's super easy to give a full answer. You become I. And the rest is about rearranging the words you hear. I have been living in Australia plus answer. Giving full answers is very unnatural, but proves the point. So once again, the more you understand what you hear, the easier to communicate. Next example. If, if a person is good at writing, uh, do you think that that same person will be good at speaking? Definitely not. Um, because uh, when you're a child, when you're like before going to elementary school, uh, you actually could speak uh, your mother language fluently. Doesn't mean you could spell it perfectly. Like all children cannot spell it perfectly, but they can speak, right? No, no, I'm talking about second language. For a second language, if and second, like, for mm -hmm. a foreign language, if a person is good at writing, what are the chances of that person being good at speaking? What do you think? And second language also the same because, for example, I cannot read Greek very much, but I can speak. No, 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 really no. Write, write. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm talking about good at mm -hmm. writing, not reading. Sorry. Mm -hmm. If a person yeah, yeah, the is, writing also the same. Mm -hmm. Writing also the same. It's because I, if I try to type very slow, but my speaking is much faster. So now my question is, if a person is good at writing, good at mm -hmm. writing, what are the, the odds of that person being good at speaking? What do you think? Are they related or not? Is it possible for a person to be good at writing? but bad at speaking yeah absolutely so they're not related because it's um if you really go um united states a lot of people even cannot spell it horrible spelling you see i asked her the same question the second language five times a second language but she also answered the same. a different it's question. yeah a lot of people actually bad at spelling in the second or third language they can speak really be better what we've got here is failure to communicate my question was is it possible for a person to be good at writing but bad at speaking but her answer was to the question is it possible for a person to be good at speaking but bad at writing yeah absolutely two completely different questions she was able to understand the vocabulary and grammar but not the meaning, and as a result, a breakdown in communication. Last example. And knowing what you know now in terms of the adoption and the changes that have that have ensued, is there anything that you would have done differently had you had known that? Ah, uh, I think I expected some, but this is uh, right now. You know, when I I think the lighting you saw. All of lighting is now LED lighting. At that time, I never expected this huge change, you know, dramatically. As you could hear, he too answered a completely different question. Let me make something perfectly clear. I am not making fun of him. For those of you who don't know, the gentleman is a Nobel Prize winner in physics. I have a lot of respect for his work. In fact, I would trade my uh, English skills for a quarter of his uh, math skills. Furthermore, what I want to show and prove here is that even with average English, people will still listen to you as long as what you say is of any value. And what he has to say is of huge value. The journalist will repeat his question and get his proper answer. And the conversation will continue. Okay, 
Let me wrap this up. What I want you to take away from this video is that if your listening is good, your speaking will also be good. It's all common sense when you think about it. It's the same with our native language, with children. It all starts with listening. The reason children are able to speak is because they are able to understand what they hear. Their dad. speaking is as good as their listening no, comprehension. No, I said Anakin Skywalker was his dad. Darth Vader's Anakin Skywalker? Yes. Why is he trying to kill his son? He's not trying to kill him. Why did he chop his arm off then? Well, you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. <laughs> what the... <laughs> What's that got to do with Star Wars? Well, they like they like omelets. What I'm trying to say here is that your speaking can only be as good as your listening, or worse, but never better. Let me repeat that: your speaking can only be as good as your listening, or worse, but never better. Which is yet another proof that. Language schools should not exist. Businesses like italki, Lingoda, Cambly, Berlitz, Duolingo make no sense. But you know that already. Virtually nobody goes to a language school to practice their listening. Most people know that it's a waste of time. 99.9% .9 of all people go to language schools to practice and improve their speaking. But to improve your speaking, first you need to improve your listening. Your speaking can only be as good as your listening, or worse, but never better. And so, what's the point of paying for speaking? If you are able to understand everything you hear, you will be able to speak, guaranteed. You don't need to pay a language teacher to improve your listening. You already know that. Just listen to content you like and use dictionaries. It's super intuitive. What's not intuitive though is that if you want to improve your listening faster, you'll need to read. That's very counterintuitive. Reading speeds up your listening comprehension by a lot. The analogy I make is to learning to play a musical instrument. You could learn to play, uh, say, the piano just by listening. Is it this one or... Or is it this one? But it would take a lot longer than if you learn to read sheet music. No. Listening is essential, but reading speeds up the process by a lot. It's the biggest difference between how children and adults learn. It's the biggest advantage adults have over children. I actually recommend uh, more time uh, reading and less time uh, listening. But since uh, this is YouTube, Jesus. <laughs> she disagrees. Anyway, where was I? <laughs> but since this is YouTube, you know, and I'm talking to people who don't read books, then I'd say the minimum you should aim for is 50-50. Uh, Spend as much time reading in your target language as uh, you spend listening. 
I know you won't, but my job here is to give you the facts, tell you the truth. What you do with it is entirely up to you. Everything you need to know about how to improve your listening, reading, writing, and, believe it or not, speaking, you can find in my book, Virtually Native, which is available on Amazon and virtuallynative.com. You have one life. Don't waste it.